Welcome to our video reflection for today, Sunday, December the 12th, 2021. We are in the third Sunday of Advent, as well known as a Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday of Rejoice. We are continuing our prayer for those who are sick, especially for Norma and children, as well people in need. We pray for the victims of the disaster in Kentucky this weekend. And we are praying for those who are mourning, especially the 54 families of the migrants who died in an accident in Mexico. And we send greetings to Willem, Willem Gamage on his birthday today. And we are celebrating and praying for all those who have anniversaries. The Gospel of today is taken from St. Luke chapter 3, verses 7 to 18, which is a narrative about the ministry of John the Baptist. And here we will walk in three elements. Three elements, the first is the language of John. The second is the behavior of the people. And the third is the two kind of baptism. Let us start with language. Language is key in any project or role in life. John the Baptist was well known for his harsh speech. This is not a surprise from prophets. John the Baptist was not a diplomat or a politician. John's language doesn't leave room for misunderstanding. It is a language or a communication a strategy to push people for actions and take serious decisions. And this is why in this passage we can read we can read key words such punishment, acts, cut down and thrown into the fire. Wow, that is heavy, heavy words. John's language is not the same when Jesus was preaching in public about the good news. Well, obviously, they have different roles. Let us make the exercise and imagine ourselves and to be there and to listen to John the Baptist. Are you ready? You will be comfortable? Maybe no. Why? Because in our times, we consider that is politically incorrect to speak in a harsh language. But the point is, people got the message, and after listening to John, they moved to actions and changed behaviors. Let us talk about behavior, the second point. Following a logical order, first we listen, then to learn, and then to understand. And that moves us to a second logical order, changes, changes in behavior, changes in attitude. Any behavioral tendency change with education. Here we see consequences from people regarding Jung's proclamation. From people in general to target groups like tax collectors and soldiers. From abusive thieves, extortionists, blackmailers, etc. All that which take away dignity from the children of God. And then to move to generosity, solidarity, empathy, honesty, kindness, like all the fruit of the Spirit, which allow us to see God in our neighbors. And finally, the third aspect, the two kind of baptism. Let us remember, baptism is the first sacrament instituted in the public ministry of Jesus. Even though John was baptizing with water, the first one baptized with water plus fire and the Holy Spirit is Jesus. The first baptism with water was to wash away our sins as a symbol of obedience 
and to live in harmony with God and our neighbors. And the second baptism, but with the water, fire, and the Holy Spirit, is to be sealed, sealed by the Holy Trinity. A new beginning as part of the body, a new beginning as part of the Church of Christ, a new beginning, a new stage of ownership. John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus, the prophet who was the voice in the wilderness, invite us to prepare our lives and to remember our baptismal vows. May this two kind of baptism, which now is our only one, one baptism, be meaningful for you in this time of Advent. Remember, we are sealed, sealed forever. And we are the people of Advent. We are the people of incarnation. We are the people of Epiphany. Amen. Share this message with your closest one. We wish you a blessed week and see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.